Casa de Colón or Columbus House in Gran Canaria um, is one of the museums you can find it, uh, in uh, Las Palmas in Gran Canaria. It is actually one of the one of Las Palmas' most attractive buildings, and this museum is dedicated to Cristobal Colón, or in English, Christopher Columbus. And Casa Museo de Colón, or Columbus House Museum, um, has ornate doorways uh, and courtyards, and it has also very beautiful balconies. Each room inside the Columbus House Museum contains exquisitely carved wooden ceilings, and throughout this place you can see different aspects of Gran Canaria architecture. It was actually a palace and uh, it used to be the residence of the first governors of uh, Gran Canaria and it is claimed that the Columbus House Museum was the very house that uh, Christopher um, it was the very uh, house that the Christopher Columbus stayed in while one of his ships was being repaired back in 1492 which is the reason the house takes the name. Casa de Colón building was a family residence up to, say, as late as the mid-20th century and was the actual birthplace of the famous Canadian tenor Alfredo Kraus. The building housing the Columbus House Museum was rebuilt in 1777 and has been used for its current purpose since 1952. Columbus House Museum contains 13 permanent exhibition rooms, a library and, a, and study center. It also contains space set aside for lectures, seminars and special exhibitions. So on display here, as part of the Columbus House Museum, you see models of ships and exact replica um, of a cabin from La Nina, which as you know was one of the ships, one of the three ships in Christopher Columbus fleet. So the cabin from La Nina, and you're going to see it. And, um, like, um, and then, um, you can also see um, instruments used for navigation, you can see charts and maps, some detailing uh, Christopher Columbus journeys. You can see exhibition rooms also later on uh, with other artifacts. And these are all uh, related to journeys and voyages of uh, uh, Christopher Columbus. As you can see here, when you see all three ships, there are, uh, you, know, you can see the replicas of them because uh, the smallest one is you know, Nina, then we had a flagship Santa Maria, and the other one was Pinta. You can see all of them here on display as replicas of them. Other things on display, you can also see uh, exhibition rooms full of paintings and also related artifacts uh, to the voyages of uh, Christopher Columbus, Cristobal Colón. Here you can see different navigation instruments and um, also some original manuscripts of navigations back then. As you can see, I mean, these are really magnificent artifacts to look at them. And um, so, all of them are really unique, which are on display in this museum. You can see also maps of uh, three voyages of uh, uh, Christopher Columbus here. And now, here, you can go to another place, 
this um, beautiful museum. Now we will see a special place, it's pre-Columbian artifacts. These are reproductions uh, from Museo Nacional de Antropología in Mexico, so National Museum of Anthropology of Mexico. These are exact reproductions of pre-Columbian artifacts uh, which back then could be found in, uh, in Americas. Um, these are different things. These you can find uh, from uh, Totonac culture, you can find from Oaxaca culture, you can find from Zapotec culture, and, um, and there are different time frames for them. The time frames are, for example, from 100 to, uh, to 650 AC and so on. Um, these are really, I mean, exactly as I said, reproductions. You can find from also Kalima cultures, right, like dogs fighting, sleeping dog, drinking um, a vessel. You can find different vessels and you can find parrot mask and these are the original ones are from 50 to 500 AC you can also find from Haina island culture and as I said from different er um, places in pre-Columbian times you can find exact uh, reproductions there and to me it's truly fascinating to see these items and the attention to detail which is uh, given to all these artifacts you can find descriptions of each there uh, which makes also it's very, uh, very interesting as I said um, other cultures here are Casas Grandes culture from uh, 1250 1521 AC we can ha have we can see also Teotihuacan culture from 100 to 650 AC. And, uh, as I mentioned before, you can find different uh, things also from Maya culture. You can find here reproductions of Maya culture, all from based on originals in. The National Museum of Anthropology in Mexico. So the Mayan culture from 100 to 650, some of them are 600 to 900 AC, and so on. So now let us uh, leave this uh, beautiful place and I will just take you to another place in Casa de Colón. It was in the cellar, it's pre Columbian artifacts. Okay, uh, Columbus House Museum also exhibits uh, or uh, displays the history of the Canaries as well. Here, as you can see, and also the relationship with and to the Americas. You will see models of the original Las Palmas, as you can, you can see here, and how it has changed over the centuries. So there was a perimeter wall that prevented the areas of Vegeta and Triana from expanding northwards, therefore forcing the city to expand inland. So you can see here the attention to detail again is amazing. And you can see it here in uh, this museum. I just wanted to see look at this. <laughs> Even cannons are really displayed very well for the defense. And you see the soldiers here. And very well made. So on um, this floor you can see also different uh, maps of the city, different models and how the city developed as I mentioned it before as I mentioned it before and here I mean 
Attention to detail is really amazing here. What the museum has to offer here. Because here, for example, is the uh, Grand Canaria, the island. Mm has -hmm. different uh, sketches, plans, paintings here that you can see and paint and um, find out about the early history of Grand Canaria here. You can also see here different paintings. Some of them are uh, paintings from 1955, also uh, Cristobal Colón, Christopher Columbus himself, the Rey Católico, and also other, you can see little personalities here. And um, so you find all these paintings there. Let us go fast. You can really spend hours if you want to read all these details here. And uh, this one will give you a glimpse and you can have an overview and a look here uh, of all this. And here uh, you can see a painting of Cristobal Colon himself. I think it was done in the, the painting of him in 1955, as you can see. Here. And uh, also these uh, Reyes Catolicos, uh, the King of Spain, and also the Queen. And here, as I mentioned before, the three ships of Christopher Columbus. Here. Take a look at them. They were uh, La Nina, uh, the smallest one, Pinta, and uh, Santa Maria, which was the flagship. So I think this, you know, I was uh, always fascinated by his first journey. And always you know, to see them in the exact repro reproductions of them is really you know, is a treat to see them. So I can take a look at them here. So that was our trip to Casa de Colón in Gran Canaria. I would really recommend anyone to this museum. A very nice one. Thank you very much.